What's going on guys, Zach from Mini Quad Bros here. I'm going to do an overview of our ZMR250 GoPro adapter. Um, this comes in a little kit that we send you and you can mount your GoPro like this. So the main purpose of putting a GoPro on a ZMR frame, there's two things. Um, one is the Super View, which basically uses the full 1440 sensor. And so you get a little bit more on the top and bottom edges. And it honestly looks fantastic. The second reason people run GoPros, and the most important reason I think, is 60 FPS. The Mobius and Run Cam and all that other stuff, There's, it's 1080, 30 FPS. Um, if you wanna see what that looks like, watch some of my older videos and then watch some of the newer ones and you'll see on YouTube the 60 FPS is just, you don't go back to it once you switch to it. It's buttery smooth and it's really nice for the eye. 60 FPS also eliminates a lot of, so typically, when you mount a GoPro on a ZMR frame, you do it on the top plate here. That's what most people do. That's what I used to do until I got sick of breaking uh, standoffs or zip ties every single time in a crash and having to repair it. Um, and it's also super susceptible to impact when crashing when it's on the top here. Um, so you can see with this, it's pretty much encased and it would take the perfect storm for something to happen to your GoPro. And just to be redundant, I put a lens protector on there. Big point when you're doing this, when you're running this kit, is you need a cased FPV camera up top there. Uh, that's just because obviously it's blocking its typical mounting location. Um, a good one to run is this Runcam uh, PZ0420M. It's wide voltage, it, it accepts uh, two to four S without having to do any step down, so it's pretty awesome. Um, and then the first worry everyone has is, okay, the FPV camera's up top, it's gonna get hit um, and crashes. And that was my first concern when I ordered my Zool. Um, but basically you run a, your FPV antenna as close to it as possible and it kind of acts as a roll bar. Um, and I haven't had anything happen to uh, that or this cam yet. And also you need to move your any antennas or anything on the top plate as forward as possible so we can get that battery as aft as possible. That's just to put the center of gravity as center as possible. It's gonna come with a 3D printed 15 degree tilt if you need more tilt, just send me a message and check out or on Facebook or to my email or whatever you need to do and tell me the degree you want and I can get that to you. So it comes with two plates, some hardware and the standoffs, a little 3D printed spacer because this is mounted in between the two bottom plates right there. And that spacer basically just makes it so it's compatible with ZMR PDBs like Overcraft and Nucleus. This bottom plate here is 1.5 millimeter thick and this top one is two millimeters. And the arms are three millimeters as standard. I know this isn't for everyone, but for those who want, you know, the experience of a Hovership Zool or Blackout 330 at uh, more than half the cost, I'd say it's completely worth it to do this mod and, and run this. All right, guys, this is available at miniquadbros.com and droneplastics.com. I'm going to play some footage from yesterday's tuning session with this guy. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.